You're a hero, too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Beyond all maps. We should go. You and I. I saw the movie yesterday, and I was thinking, what's the best way of, of doing a, a, you know, a, a explain the essence of the movie? And I remembered uh, a line that you said a few years ago that this, it said, nature doesn't need people. People need nature to survive. Yeah. What do you think about that? And why can you tell us about this, this story? Well, I, when, I, when I said that, uh, uh, that nature doesn't need people, people need nature, it was because we tend to think of ourselves as being above nature, of having capacities that no other part of nature has, sort of making nature our servant, uh, our, our subject, as though we were above nature and we're not. We are a part of nature. Everything about us, our, in, our intellect is uh, matched by other members of the natural world. There's, there's, there's nothing that distinguishes us except our use of tools and our numbers on the, on the, the weight of our population on the earth. And we are, have been reckless in our exploitation of nature. And in order to live comfortably with nature, we have to, be, we have to change behaviors. We cannot upend the natural processes of the planet and expect to continue to prosper and to, to live comfortably on this planet. I'm glad you're enjoying this. You have been a true hero on the screen, but you have been also a true hero on, on real life. No, I've been a, 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 a part of um, a group of people, of groups of people. Um, uh, working to help bring attention to the challenges of, of the future. You said something very interesting uh, last year in the UN. You said that you have failed us, that the, your, your generation had failed the younger generations, and the best way that you could help us is to move, move away from... Uh, yeah. Do you think that's... Uh, don't you think it's, it's the opposite? Because we need stronger and, and, bra and brave voices like, like yours. No, you need to develop your own generation's voices. Each generation needs to find itself. The challenge of your generation is to get out of this and back into this. Yeah. Be able to look each other in the eye. Be able to communicate. Being able to come together and coalesce into uh, a, a constituency to save not your individual country, your individual ideological point of view, your different, your individual political point of view, but come together and understand that we're all connected. What happens in Mexico has an effect on what happens in Siberia. What happens in Siberia has an effect on what happens in Mexico. We are all connected. We are living in one world, in one atmosphere, we have one chance to redeem ourselves. Of and young people have the energy and the need to assume the leadership and, uh, and get us the rest of the way to where we need to be. Have you ever think of that when you choose a part in, in a movie? No. Because you are very important to people. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I, want, I, want to, I want them not to see Harrison Ford. I don't want to be in a movie and be Harrison Ford. I want to be the character. I want to play cowboys and Indians. I want to dress up and play, of pretend. But I want to tell stories that touch people emotionally, that help them understand um, each other. I never saw him believe in anything as much as he believes in you. This movie is filmed in in, on stage, it wasn't on location. Uh, what can you tell me about the experience of doing pretty much everything on, on CGI? Part of the wisdom of the production uh, uh, company, the producer and director, and the art director, understood that the actors, that, that we could work in practical sets, 
so that the saloon, the, the cabin that uh, John Thornton lives in, um, all of these elements were the, the construction of mankind. Uh, those, were, those were there. We built those. And then we would augment the, the landscape above that. So we could place a cabin that was built outside of Los Angeles in uh, um, Santa Clarita. We could place the landscape of, uh, of uh, the Canadian Yukon. I think it's an imperceptible. Uh, one cannot see where the practical reality in the CGI starts. So I came up here because I didn't want to be around anyone. And then I met Buck. The real challenge was uh, with Buck, because um, while there was no dog, there was a, a, a very talented um, uh, actor named Terry Notary that I worked with who represented uh, Buck. And um, he would do his best to um, offer me uh, his dog point of view. <laughs> I mean, he was playing Buck. And that was very useful for, uh, for me. But still, it's a, you know, it's a job of pretending. Yeah. That's what the job is. But he could not be broken. I don't know where you came from, but I know where you are now. Welcome to the last place on the earth. Finally, uh, I read the other day that it will be uh, Indiana Jones 5. Mm. Uh, after that, this movie could be a little bit related with Indiana. This could be like he on retirement, you know, enjoying the nature by his home. What do you think? Uh, well, I, I think um, for Indiana Jones, he has to be related to, to complicated circumstances. He can't, he's not going to be living alone. <laughs> he's going to be living in an exciting context and adventure. It's very exciting to, to know that it will be Indiana Jones very soon on the screen. I hope it, uh, it pleases you. Adventure of a lifetime. <laughs>